Hello trainers, Ganeto here and today we're diving together into Fantasy Cup with so much ground power. Today we're gonna showcase a team submitted by XXT Yaveltal who is a trainer here on YouTube who happens to have a channel for you to check out. With that said, we're gonna use an extra drill with Earthquake and a Shadow Garchomp as our solid backline so you can see that we're gonna do a lot of solid work with those ground moves. Into the next one now and we're having Tapu Fini up in front. Today it's so hot here in Greece and this uh, video might just chill us up with those nooks and entertainment. So over here we are having that uh, surf coming up, we know we can survive at least one so we can just take it and right after those double iron buses uh, we'll charge up to destroy down our opponent. What I like about double iron bus is that it gets super spammy so that the opponent sometimes will lose track of energy points and of course they are gonna get destroyed down by that move. So they switch out aggressively into that uh, Giratina and because we're having a Dragon Tail Shadow Garchomp the damage output is absolutely crazy. Look at that, just gonna farm down completely after spending only one shield and at the back they have a Registeel. You know what, gonna get straight to the Earth Power but they manage to block. Doesn't matter at all, we can still stay in with our Garchomp uh, since we can easily block here and perhaps we need to get to the bait. I think that our trainer here realizes that so we can grab the shield no matter what and right after the earth power will most likely one shot down the remaining HP of the red still here on Ultra Leak which is crazy and Tapu Fin at this amount of HP stands no chance at all. Into the next one now with the Dragonite up in front and of course we can carry the move Rock Slide, they do not know that and that's why they switch out to their uh, Clefable. So they're trying to catch a Rock Slide, to their surprise they get hit with a double Iron Bus which is absolutely crazy and if you uh, have gone watched my previous videos you might have seen one of my opponents running uh, Melmetal with Flash Cannon one shotting down my Xerneas while I had two shields, yeah that move is also viable on, Mel on uh, Melmetal so over here we're just gonna over farm a lot at the point that we have a double uh, drill run for sure ready to go and one of those drill runs will be more than enough for this Clefable to faint right after we're gonna get to another drill run we know that they need to respect the damage from the Rock Slide so by not revealing the Earthquake before we can get a chance to get that shield out of play. Uh, so over here now we're gonna go in with our Melmetal and since they are shieldless we do not have a rock slide but still a double double iron bus because we're gonna throw two of those uh, moves uh, is just gonna be enough to threat that Pokemon. So at the back they also have another flyer this time the talking is and you can guess the outcome already because uh, we can get to those double iron buses pretty easily and since this opponent is getting out of the way this is the perfect chance for Shadow Garchomp to take revenge on those fairy types with a complete farm down unnecessary for sure and yeah that is gonna just sum things up for this battle let's see if this dragonite has enough hp no it doesn't just one hp and that's gonna be a great game talking is into the next one now and we're gonna see that uh, yeah double iron bus is just gonna dominate this matchup so we're gonna throw here the early uh, superpower on this escavalier now gonna switch out to our excadrill and we need to block because our pokemon here is super glassy and we need to respect the damage pretty much from every from anything uh, so we know that they have uh, a pokemon like Tokigis at the back so sacrificing here the Garchomp for the greater good makes a lot of sense they also cannot farm a lot so that will give us some time to return to the battle with Thermal Metal and start destroying them down with our double iron buses the first one is coming up and right after we have one more before they reach to their next move this is pretty crucial they are gonna block because they are already there to the flamethrower or the aura sphere it is gonna be the flamethrower and at this point we can have the upper hand against the sunslash since we got the superpowers ready to go on the plus side here we can survive one drill run on our excadrill uh, because this is ultra league after all not great league or anything everything is kind of bulkier than the other league and of course right here we can grab the shield with the drill run uh, doing so we can have the upper hand against them with a simple uh, superpower and since that tokigis is energy dry we can get to back to back moves with this with a double iron bus and yeah that is gonna be a pretty solid victory for our trainer and uh, it's metal.
uh, into the next one now and we're gonna use uh, armor metal against this uh, empoleon so this is kind of tricky because if we cannot land the superpower things can get sideways so they are gonna seal the first one so perhaps we need to switch out at some point but as it seems our backline is also pretty weak to empoleon on the good news once again we're having uh, another superpower so this is gonna connect for a lot of damage by sacrificing a sealed over here we can guarantee the farm down and perhaps the nook on the next pokemon if it is not a flyer if they happen to have a flyer perhaps things can go sideways over here we're gonna over farm a lot and right after we're gonna press the earth power for massive damage on this cavalier and they just barely get there to the next move which is a bummer however it ends up being just a nested spray what a turnaround here and we're now gonna go in with our extra drill because as it seems this berserker will have uh, the upper hand with the close combats but still uh, by having having the slight energy advantage we can get there to those double drillers before they get a double close combat which is absolutely crazy and we're able to one shot down this threat into the next one now and we're having Tapu Fini up in front against our uh, Melmetal so obviously this is not the best lead we saw before that uh, we are gonna lose eventually but still it is getting super close and with that very type out of the way perhaps our Shadow Garchom can be on a very good spot to destroy down our opponents so here comes now another Another double double iron bus since we have back to back once again and as it seems they are gonna take it I believe there is no reason for them not to and they are getting super close to fainting so are we gonna block here no just gonna let our melmetal go down which makes a lot of sense and this time not the garton but instead uh, the uh, exadrill will return to farm down that crucial energy at the back they have a giratina and look at the crazy damage output that dragon tail is gonna do you know what I really like this play a lot because we can uh, debuff this uh, next Pokemon the Resiram by a lot with those back to back to back Santums and as it seems we can absolutely wreak havoc on their dreams also they happen to have a Firefunk version of Resiram which means that we are just barely enough to destroy them down with those uh, moves that we have the seals at least and right after uh, we're just gonna get to town with our drill run to deliver the finishing blow on that uh, dragon of truth i think or the ideal dragon something like it right right so anyways having kind of a weird lead against this magnezon on the switch we're met up with uh, the empoleon and of course those drill runs need to be respected by the opponent as they are trying to completely farm down uh, they're gonna do that but they still need to sacrifice two seals but as it seems this opponent decides to take the second one so down they go now magnezon returns but uh, to be fair we can still destroy them down with the cards so often taking the shield with our excadrill uh, so over here they are stacked or energy but i believe that we can resist uh, the next uh, mirror shot as well uh, not resist but still not gonna do a lot of damage and they have the excadrill at the back so the battle is definitely not over yet uh, we still have a lot of play over here but since we got at least a shield into play one superpower will be more than enough to destroy down that poor uh, magnezone so over here we're just gonna go in with melmet able to farm down the crucial energy with the thunder socks against the ground type and right after the superpower to deliver uh, the finishing blow on the magnezone so right here against this Serona uh, Sanslas I really like our odds because all the time we can throw super effective double super effective damage on that Pokemon while we can still rely on uh, grabbing one uh, uh, whole damage of uh, worth of that uh, drill run so that can always work towards our advantage on the switch we're met up with a Giratina on its altered form and by sacrificing here our second shield we might just be enough to destroy down this giratina with our moves so here comes now the santum they are gonna block and we're not gonna press the next one which is a bummer however we can just barely survive here the next move which makes a lot of sense for our team since now we can debuff the next pokemon which is the return of the alula sanslas coming with back-to-back -back moves here makes us see think that we can have the upper hand and since they have a token is at the back and we can have the excadrill perhaps we can uh, annihilate down this threat however you can already see that we carry no rock slide at all so instead we're gonna throw the drill run and right after the earthquake so we are in a pickle over here they managed to block the big nook which is a bummer and still reach to the aura sphere good news here is though that melmetal can resist those charms and still deliver kind of the lethal blow on that pokemon so it all depends if we 
can finish off that final Pokemon that remains. Oh my goodness, it doesn't. Uh, so we're just gonna take the victory. For a moment, I thought they still had the Giratina with one HP or something like it, but no clue at all about this one. Anyways, uh, we're met up here with the Escavalier. They are gonna block the big nuke and the earthquake, which is crazy. And right here, we might be in deep trouble if they have another uh, counter to our Steel type Pokemon. Uh, so over here, we're just gonna take the move. I think it's gonna be a drill run, but instead they throw the Acid Spray, and right after, we are, go we are gonna go in all in actually on the guards of surviving with two shields for the end game while they have none. Double Acid Spray from this Escavalier. I don't know why, perhaps they thought they could farm down right after, but that is definitely not the case. Mel Metal with the finishing blow. Now they have the Tapu Koko and the Scissor. All we need to do is to destroy down one Scissor and yeah, Tapu Koko will be no threat at all for us. Uh, so we're just gonna blow whatever they throw at this point and we might be in a bit of trouble if they manage to cut. So over here we have so much energy to spare so we have to start doing so. The Earth Power will, will definitely one so down the Fairy type and one more Earth Power to destroy down the remaining HP of the Scissor will grab for us the final victory for this uh, video I was about to say but as it seems we have more battles to showcase. I was thinking that the video is over but no as it seems we got a little bit more over here. I'm super excited for today's video. Uh, so over here Tapu Fini is gonna be kind of a problematic one for our Pokemon but still we have brought this one super low at the point that we can definitely start farming down the remaining HP with the Thunder Socks. Doing so we managed to get out of here with about 100 uh, energy stored up on our Mel Metal which is pretty great. We're gonna press immediately here the super power and uh, they end up catching on their Giratina. Absolutely insane. But still, we can rely on our Gartom to do the remaining work. Uh, so as it seems here, we need to block whatever they throw. And one of those moves is definitely the Fox Blast. So getting here to the Earth Power, which is impressive. And we're managing to go through with that move. Are you kidding me? I was not expecting this. So right after, by blocking, now we're down two blocks, but they have one. Uh, we can have the upper hand with those Sandums. They can definitely expect an Earth Power at this point, so blocking makes a lot of sense. And right after, by tanking one Dragon Claw on the Shadow Glassy Gartom, we managed to get to another Sandum. Look at the damage output, absolutely insane. And I believe that even if they reach here to the Shadow Claw, to the uh, uh, Shadow Sneak, excuse me, we're gonna get to the Double Iron Bus no matter what. And of course, with back to back moves we can definitely grab the shield and the knockout on the giratina to end this video this is for real and that is gonna be a fantastic ending to this video thank you for watching trainers and for staying till the end yaveltal here had an amazing uh, output with his uh, moves and mel metal with double arm bus while that spicy uh, ground backline definitely stole all the spotlight with that said just be sure to leave a huge like before you go and of course consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more of my content here on YouTube. And speaking of more of my content, I have two videos for you to check out, so feel free to do so, and I will see you all into the next one.